Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze of Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze of Troll. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to tap on the lathe using the live milling spindle. My machine does not have rigid tapping, so I need to use a floating tap holder. But the programming is the same as the newer machines that have rigid tapping capability. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is push the left button, go to Program, Program File, and select a work number that's not listed up here. I'm going to select work number 20. So we'll go back to Program, push work number 20 input, and if it's a new program, push the Program button. Mazatrol or EIA, going with Mazatrol. Workpiece material is aluminum. Outer diameter is 3.25. Inside is zero. It's two inches long. Max spindle RPM limit. This is the lathe spindle limit, not the milling spindle. So you can type in 2000 like we normally do. Finish allowance on X and finish allowance on Z is not going to be used in this program. And then neither is the work phase, so I'm going to leave all these blank. Uh, first thing we're going to do is push the three arrows. M code, coolant on, down arrow. And now we're going to program a series of three tapped holes in the face of the part. So we're going to push the right arrow twice, and this gets us our milling menu, and we're going to center spot drill it, then we're going to drill it, and then we're going to tap it. On this older control, you have to do those in three separate processes. On the newer machines, like the Smooth X control, you can just basically push tap, type in the tap information, and it will automatically come up with the tools for the drill and the spot drill based on what's already in the machine's uh, tool chain. But in this older machine, we have to do each individual process manual. So the first thing we're going to do is push milling drill. We're going to do it on the face. We're going to drill three holes in the face. Number one pecking. Hole diameter is going to be uh, 280. We have a half inch spot drill, um, but basically the effective diameter of the spot drill, we're gonna make it 280 thousandths. So 0.280. Cutting depth is going to be 140 which will give us a 280,000 spot. We're gonna drill a quarter 20 hole pattern in the face of the part. So this will give us a 280,000 diameter spot face. So 0.140, because we have a 90 degree spot drill in here. Depth of first cut, we push auto. And then tool number, we can push tool data, and I have it in here, tool number 13. So go back to program. So 13, input offset one. And then it's asking us the shape pattern. We have the two choices. We have a point, or we have a circle bolt pattern. On this older machine, we only had two choices. Uh, circle is the same as the newer machines as radius or circle, the way this circle functions. It does not automatically put the holes equally spaced. You have to tell it that. On the newer machines, if you push circle and you take it 
three holes, it's going to automatically space them 120 degrees apart. For this older machine, you have to tell it the angle from one hole to the next. So what we're going to do is drill three holes in a circle pattern. Starting point on X, we're going to give it a radius from the center up of one inch. Starting point angle of Y, so this is our C angle. We're going to start at C0. And starting point on Z, this is the face of the part. So we're going to leave this at zero as well. Number of holes, three holes. Angle from one point to the next is 120 degrees. Again, on the older control like this, you have to tell it what angle they are from each other because it can put three holes 10 degrees apart if you want to, like an arc function on the new machine. So anyway, 120 degrees. And then this last field is omit start point machining. What this says is, do you want to drill the first hole in the pattern? Sometimes the first hole is a reamed hole in a pattern or it's offset from the rest of them. And if I put a one in here, it would only drill the 120 degree hole and the 240 hole. It would not drill the zero degree hole. But we're going to leave this field blank 99% of the time. Leave it at zero. So now we're done with the shape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to milling drill, face, number one packing. The hole diameter for a quarter 20 is 200 thousandths, so 0.201. Cutting depth, we're going to drill at 900 thousandths deep. And then auto on the feeds and speeds, and we're going to kick the feed rate up a little bit to 4 thousandths. And then this is tool 14, offset 1. And we're going to do the same circle pattern as we did above here. So that way we drill into the spot faces. So circle, so we can just type in the same values here as what's above it. Shape end. All right, in this example, I'm going to stop the machine in the middle of the program using an M code because I want to put oil on the tap so you guys can watch the tap run instead of have the coolant blast and you can't see anything. So in order to stop the machine mid-process, I'm going to push the three arrows and go over here to middling manual process. So exchange point of tool one, yes. Milling gear, you have to give it a gear number when you're in the manual process. And tool number is 15. And what I'm going to do, S code, so I'm going to give it 200 RPM for the milling. Turn off the coolant. And then in the next line, I'm going to stop the program. If I don't do this 200 RPM, it's going to default to the RPM that it was running previously, which was 2500 RPM, and it's going to wind it up to 2500 RPM, stop the machine, and then it's going to wind back up and then slow back down in order to do the tapping. So adding a 200 RPM right here eliminates that. So down arrow, shape in. So now we can get into the tapping portion of it. So push the right arrows, push milling tap on the face, and now we're going to get into the type of tap. So if you have a 1032 tap, on the screen it'll be number 10-32 UN, and it'll show the pitch. A quarter 20 is 1Q-20. A 5 16 18 is 5S-18. 
A 3 8 16 is a 3 E 16. And an M6 by 1.0 is just an M6. And an M10 by 1.5 is an M10. And it shows you the pitch of each of the taps you have. Some, sometimes you have different pitches on the metric taps and you can override the pitch that is listed up there on any of these fields. So, for example, this is a quarter 20, so we push the unified thread and then we push the quarter button and light it up and then we push one quarter, so one dash two zero, one dash 20 equals one quarter dash 20 and it has a 50 thousandths pitch. We're gonna tap it 0.7 hundred thousandths deep and I'm only gonna run it at 20 surface feet per minute because the acceleration is slow on this machine. Otherwise, it'll, it'll over travel the tap if I don't slow it down quite a bit. Uh, tool number is tool 15, offset one. And again, we're doing the circle of holes. One inch radius, three holes, 120 degrees apart. And we're done. So right button, figure check. And then here's the holes. And if we push the display mode, now we get the face of the part and the side view. So I wanna keep this view, so I push the store button. So now what we need to do is we need to set the work shift, call up the program, and then, and then run it. Well, let's, before we do that, let's get into the graphics. Getting ahead of myself again. So, program check, check continue. So it's gonna spot three times. And then it's going to tap it, or it's gonna drill it. All right, now it comes up the tap. So this is, now it's going 700 thousandths deep. And it's done. So, on my previous video, I showed you guys the parameter U54 for tapping. It'll tap deeper for the incomplete thread of the front of the tap. If U54 has a value in it. So I cleared out the value on the previous program because I was milling, I was tapping with the spindle and the same parameter also controls the milling tap as well. So if I put a 30 in here, then it's going to tap it an extra 150 thousandths deeper. So I left U54 at zero, so whatever I put in there is the only the depth it's going to tap. It's not going to go extra deep. So again, it's the same parameter as the spindle tap, program U54. So if U54 has a value in it, the tap is going to go deeper than it was programmed on the depth here. So I prefer to tap it exactly what depth I want, not have it go extra. So I'm leaving that parameter at zero. All right. Let's set the work shift, and then let's run this part. All right, let's set the work shift. So we'll bring up a turning tool, 
that's already been probed. All right, that's close enough. Program file. Z offset teach, zero input. Auto work number 20. And now we can see our turning tool just like it is over here. So now we're ready to run the part. All right, coolant's on, cycle start. Add a little oil. And we're done. And there's our part with three tap holes in it. If you like what you see, Go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.